Good morning. It's Lexi Shimmers. <laughs> I went to bed late last night, but I got good quality rest and woke up early this morning by the telephone. My daddy called me. He thought he was calling my sister. He's 78 years old, and I love it. I love it. You know, so he calls me, oh, is this William? That's my boy, boy name. Is, is that? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to call Tracy because I'm not going to church this morning. I hurt my leg. Excuses. Daddy, you, need, you, know, you know you need to be in church, honey. All of us heathens do. So anyway, that was how my morning started, you know, just kicking with my father for a little bit while my kitty cat rested in the bed beside me. And then I decided, let's get this ball rolling, honey. I got 25 more pounds to lose. So if you want to have a partner, you know, to help you stay encouraged with your fitness goals, then... You know, look for me. I'm going to try to offer you consistency. And for the next 28 days, I'm not going to say I'm going to exercise every day for 28 days. I'm not going to say that. But <laughs> I will try to be consistent at least like, let's say, two days a week. And if I do three, we'll be doing good. Let's say that. So I'm about to get up out this house, go get some fresh air. It's beautiful outside today. I can tell from the light peeking through my window. Good morning, Riri. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning, Cody. I just dropped my keys. Let me get those for a minute. All right. Now, I haven't decided which exercise I want to do yet. I do know that I have favorite things I like to do. I like walking outside. I like sitting on the bike, riding. And, you know, I like sprinting. I like doing bursts, what I call bursts. So, ooh, it's a little chilly out here. All right, so, I'm going to let you see my outfit. I love this outfit because without having breast augmentation, it just flatters my natural, what God gave me. So my sneakers, my military towel, camouflage towel. So let's do this. Let's go for a walk. Oh. I love my sporty hair. Guess what I'm doing today? Hi, Matthew. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm going to be working with the Grand Ducal Council and we're going to be at AT&T Park today. And we're going to be working during the Lady Gaga concert. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I'm so excited. Not for Lady Gaga, though. I mean, she's just another person like me. She puts her pants on one leg at a time. But <laughs> I am excited to be working with the Grand Ducal Council and and all of our members. Um, the, the Court of the Beautiful Butterfly and the Peaceful Penguin will be there. So, it's going to be a fabulous time. I am so looking forward to it. Our uniforms, we have to wear white shirts. And we have to wear black pants and non-skid shoes, preferably black. So, I'm looking forward to this. You know, we, <laughs> it's going to be busy. Oh, my God. Sometimes I'm like, don't you work hard enough at your regular job? Do you have to use your free time to work just as hard? <laughs> Because it's not going to be a cakewalk. I know it's not. So it's going to be a test of patience is what it's going to be. 
you know, like, lots of people trying to get drinks, you know, and then the thing we have to be careful of is to make sure we don't give alcohol to minors, we have to be careful we don't give, um, you know, people who are too drunk uh, more drinks, so... <laughs> We got to work that cash register. It is going to be. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. Whew. I'm almost to the gym. Look how lovely it is out here. Let me see if I can flip the camera around. I love it. Whew. So, I still have my stamp from last night. That stamp says nude party. <laughs> I went to OMG, who is celebrating their fifth year anniversary um, of doing business in San Francisco. And they had cup night last night. Hi, Ron, the Becker. Hi, Fabian. So, Cub Night, it was Cub Underwear Night. So, all the bears and cubs were there, and then they paid $4, and everybody got undressed at the door. And so, I mean, there was no locker room, so they got undressed at the door and walked around in their underwear. You know, OMG is a big supporter in the community. Their name doesn't get out there as much, so that's why I'm mentioning them, them now. Hi, Rakesh. Thanks for letting me call you Puresh all night. <laughs> but I always say I'm black, I'm not Indian, so that's the excuse I use for getting the name wrong. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'm on my way to the gym. I'm going to show it to you now. That is the gym right there. Do, 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 do. I'll probably be the only one in there this early in the morning, but I've always been a morning person, always. So here we go. Bloop. Oh, I know her. She works at. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good. You live here too? Yeah, I do. Oh. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. Well, I'm going to let you go ahead and work out. Yeah, but good morning. It's great seeing you. <laughs> yes, one of the, I go to the counter when I'm cheating on my diet. And this girl, she, um, I'm not going to put her on camera. Hi, I'm back. Hi, Sonia. Hi, sister. Will my tits grow? Hi, T Hi Teddy. So, here we go. I'm about to sweat this mug out. I'm dry now, and I'm about to sit on the bike for 30 minutes, but I'm going to talk to you because I have some stuff to tell you. Okay, let's get started. Uh, put my towel. I should put my towel on my little... Nah, put my towel on the back of this chair. There we go. Ugh. No, it's a shame because I haven't been on the bike in a minute, okay? So, I don't know how I'm going to do. But here we go. Ooh. Uh, let me scoop back a little bit. Hi, Roddy. Grand Duchess of Sacramento. Touch the screen. Exercise time goal. I like to make a goal, so I'm going to try to exercise for an hour this morning. Good morning. I did something with all that lovely fur you gave me. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> he said, I'm glad somebody used it. Yes, I saw this gentleman who just came in the gym walking to the dumpster with yards of white, fluffy, beautiful fur. 
And he was nice enough to let me save it from going in the dumpster. Oh, I can't see any comments yet, but I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one who has that problem. Uh, okay, so I was telling you about my night last night at OMG with all the sexy cubs taking their clothes off and and hang so we made you know club omg's been around for five years now they're celebrating their fifth anniversary this year and mark your calendars for august 26 because on august 26 i'm having an event at omg and it's called animal acropolis has talent so i want you to come out to the omg and show us what you have. Swan Heart Jewelry has sponsored a beautiful crown. I mean, it sparkles like it has batteries in it. So, you know, you're gonna want this crown when you see it. So come out, show us what you got. We, we, it's, you don't have to just lip sync. You can play an instrument. You can do acrobatics. You can recite. Whatever it is, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do. It's called Animal Acropolis because we encourage you to be like an animal. So, you know, I'm gonna be like a glamour puss kitty cat. And so if you're a puppy, come as a puppy. If you're a bear, come as a bear. If you're an otter, come as an otter. Whatever your furriness is. And let's just do something different, something fun. You know, I'm your perfect, perfect person for something fun, something different. So come on out to Animal Acropolis at OMG, August 26th. Uh, I'm gonna increase the level a little bit because I wanna make sure I sweat, glamor sweat. Here we go, level two and what I like about the bike is it makes you feel like you're doing more than you're actually doing. So <laughs> it looks like I've been riding now for almost um, over half a mile. All right, I'm gonna see if I can charge my phone up while I'm riding. There's my charger. Plug it in here. Let's see if there's any comments. I can't see the comments. This thing. Anyway. I already told you about the concert, Lady Gaga concert. I already told you about the cupcake party. I already told you about OMG's fifth anniversary, and I already told you about the animal Acropolis has got talent coming up on August 26th. That's a lot of information. And guess what? I got more to tell you. <laughs> so, if you didn't see my video I made last night, last night I made a video kind of reflecting on the fact that this city is such a nurturing place to be a pioneer, you know, and do things that actually affect the world and change the world. And I talked about the San Francisco suicide hotline and how it was the first suicide hotline. Um, I guess I haven't verified these facts yet, so. <laughs> but this is what the representatives from the suicide, San Francisco Suicide Hotline told us that they were the very first suicide hotline. Just like the very first court started here in San Francisco. So, hi Scott, good morning. Are you at Soul Cycle today? Look what I'm doing, I'm cycling. How fun is that? <laughs> so, Yes, I supported the National Suicide Hotline. 
for anyone watching, if <clears throat> you feel hopeless, there is a national suicide hotline. The number is 1-800-273-TALK, National Suicide Hotline. So there's people trained to help you see a better way, you know, and hopefully, you know, help you stay with us longer so that you can bless us with your presence. Presence is like a gift, you know, it's like the best gift you can give, so just being here, you know. A lot of times we think about who's not with us, but think about who you are not with. Flip it around, you know. Loneliness is actually two ways. You know, you have to go out and, and be with somebody to not be lonely. Okay, that's just a little nugget. It's not professional advice or anything. It's just Lexi talking. But um, it is something to think about. So now I've been riding for six minutes. I'm going to wait until I've been riding for 10 minutes before I go to the next level. Oh my goodness, it's getting busy in this gym. I am so used to having the whole gym to myself. <laughs> I guess I have to get up, get here earlier for that. You know, get here like five in the morning. I got here today around 7.30ish or so, so that's why there's kids here and everything. People from the restaurant, you know, neighbors. <laughs> it is a neighborhood gym though, it's just part of, part of our complex, so. This is why I don't mind paying a little extra for rent that they charge us, because they, they give us this fabulous gym. <laughs> and we save a lot of money <sighs> and time, not having to go someplace else and change clothes, get out the car and blah, blah, you know, all the stuff that you have to do when you go to another gym. Oh, seven minutes done. So, and I've done a mile and almost three quarters already. This is my problem area. And if you were with me from the beginning, it is like really tightening up. Look at that. And I've lost enough fat that I can kind of pull my stomach in and you can see where I can pull it in at. That's out and that's in. And then this is the light. I love this light. So what else can I tell you about while we're riding? I want to tell you about the court of the beautiful butterfly and the peaceful penguin. You know, that was this year's rain. And guess what? They're gonna have a huge party called the Coronation. So, I want you to go to the Ducal, sfducal.org. Um, oh, wait a minute, what happened here? I flip back around. sfducal.org website. Look it up and get a, get a ticket, get a ticket. It's gonna be on September 23rd. It's gonna be huge. And guess what the theme is? The theme is going to be disco, Russian disco. You know you want a disco. <laughs> the bummer is for those of us in the core, we still have to wear gowns and be regal and all of that. But after you walk, for our court, after you walk, then you can really get into the disco theme. So I can't wait to be a kitty Russian disco cat. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be fun. So remember, save, save it on your calendar. September 23rd. Yes, Russian disco. And it's gonna be at Hotel Whitcomb. And I don't remember what time it starts. I think it starts around five-ish. Seven ish. Look it up on the website. I don't want to give you wrong information. Whew. I'm almost at 10 minutes and I've already raised my level to level four. Okay. Oh, 
Hi, Sister Woman Tits Grow. I'm sorry I can't see the comments. I'm swiping, swiping, swiping so I can see what you guys are saying. And uh, the phone is not cooperating. <laughs> it said tap, tap. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything. I'll try inviting you guys and see if um, I can talk to any of you in person. I love this collarbone. You know, when you're a big girl, like I am and was, you know, you're buried underneath that, so <laughs> nobody can see your collarbone. So now I have a neck. Before my neck was buried into my collarbone, so I didn't really have a neck because it was buried under fat. So the benefit of exercise is people get to see you and not all the fat you're hiding under or buried underneath. So now I'm trying to unbury my belly. You can see my real stomach. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, this has been a 10 minute video. I'm not gonna make it too long. So what I'm gonna do is close the video out for now. Well, I don't know. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll just keep working out and let you see how easy it is to go for at least 20 minutes without stopping. And I'm at level five right now. And that's the neighborhood. <sighs> Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit now about the edge because the edge is where we have a committed venue to the Ducal Court. And I can't remember if it's every second Saturday or third Saturday, but we get consistent Saturdays there to hold our events. So thank you to the manager, Mike Schaffer, I hope I'm saying that correctly, for supporting the Ducal Court with your venue. Uh, whew. Now, before coronation, there's another huge event coming up. I'm allowed to talk about it, but not as a candidate, so I'm telling you this as Dane Commander Lexi Shimmers, that there's an election coming up. And it's gonna be on September 16th. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and find out who the candidates will be. Candidates will be announced next week, September 15th. It is going to be spectacular. So come out, look for me on Facebook, find out who the candidates will be and then mark your calendars for September 16th so you can come out and vote. Vote for the next Grand Duke and Grand Duchess. And then at the coronation, you'll find out who got the most votes. So that's gonna be exciting too. I'm starting to get some glamour sweat going. Starting to come. I can feel it on my back already. My back is soaking wet.
Whew. Gotta breathe, girl, you gotta breathe. Anything's possible, you just have to put your mind to it. Hi, Jonathan. Good morning. I'm sorry, I can't see the comments, so I don't know what you're saying, but your face shows up on my screen. Just so you guys understand the technicalities that I'm dealing with here. I'm starting to feel some sweat coming. My back is soaked, but it takes a minute for the beads to start on my forehead. Oh, but it's coming, I'm feeling it. I'm at level six right now. That's level six. And I've been going for about four miles already. And I've been riding for only 17 minutes. 17 minutes seems like a long time when you first start. <laughs> My stamina has improved a lot. that good air in your lungs, breathe it out, smoke free, non-second hand smoke air. <sighs> There's a reason we call it glamour sweat. I want to grunt so bad, but this is glamour sweat. You can't grunt. You can breathe with pursed lips like this. Conquer. Conquer. Ah, how did I get down to level one? Ah. So now, one of my themes is called Meow is the Time. And look what I got. This, I have it on upside down. 
I don't know how to make it upside right. But it's a cat wearing glasses. Wristwatch. <laughs> Special thanks to Empress and Grand, Grand Duchess. <clears throat> we need a Valdez. So thank you. <clears throat> she attended my um, <clears throat> meet and greets <clears throat> Thursday and surprised me at the end of the night with this lovely <clears throat> watch, <clears throat> which goes perfect with my theme. Meow is the time. Oh. Ooh. And these are the scratches that my cat put on me when she gets demanding wanting her snack. They don't want to know any other way to communicate, so I can't blame her for scratching me. That's what cats do, right? And they make no apologies about it. <sighs> Is there sweat coming? There's sweat coming. Sweat is coming. Almost five miles done. I'm increasing my effort level. Almost five miles. Almost done, or halfway there, I should say. <clears throat> so let's see what else I can tell you about. Told you about the eagle. Told you about the court's coronation. I told you about um, the theme of coronation. So, the next thing I want to talk about is the Lion's Ball. Hi, Chanel. Hi, Chanel Rivera. I'm about to talk about the Lion's Ball, girl. It's going to be at the Oasis, and it's August 18th. So, they're going to have categories, girl. It's going to be like fashion categories. Hi, William. So going to be phenomenal. I haven't gotten my ticket yet, but I'm going to be getting my ticket for the Lions Ball. And it's going to be hosted by this fabulous person. Let me fucking remember what his name is. He is super fabulous. I went to his faces, his ball, last ball he had, and I made it to the, you know, um, I guess the finale where everybody claps and votes for you, you know. And that's how my talent show is going to be. It's going to be based on audience participation, who makes it to the last round and gets to, gets to win the contest. Oh. I feel some sweat. I think a roll just fell down here. There you go. That's glamour sweat right there. Glamour sweat happening. <laughs> I think there's some more here. 
Glamour sweat, darling. There you go. It's all about the glamour sweat. Ah, beautiful exercise. And we're doing it, and we're doing it. We're making it happen. We're being inspirational, sensational, <laughs> fabulous. <sighs> yes, darlings. He's sweating. The sweat is coming down. <laughs> if you're not sweating, you're not doing it right. That's why it's called glamour sweat. What else can I tell you about? Okay, so the Lions Ball's coming up on August 18th. Everybody's at summer camp right now. Thursday nights, there's underwear night at Powerhouse. And I believe it's every Thursday. <laughs> Go to Dolce De Leche's Facebook page and find out when the underwear night is. Hi Jared, hi Chanel. The underwear night is normally on Thursday nights and it is off the freaking chain. You've never been to a party like this. People, hot boys getting down to their underwear and the audience voting and Mr. P Gay Pam, Mr. Pam Gay Porn Mama, Am I saying that right? Porn mama. She has these challenges that everyone does, and it's different every night. So, <laughs> Mr. Pam's gonna work it for you. Gay porn mama is her name, Mr. Pam. Gay porn mama. Hi, Ron. <laughs> uh, so, there's another event I want to tell you about, and I'm hoping some of these people are listening because what they do every Thursday is what my talent show is all about. So it's a variety show at the Stud, and I believe it's every second Thursday. Every second Thursday, because they just had a show, and um, it was called um, Love. It's always love and then something. And so this thing was based on Diana Ross, you know. So, um, love in the morning or something like that. So look for them too. And Chanel, I want you to be in my talent show, girl. So make plans for August 26. Come to OMG, girl, and whip your hair. Whip your hair back and forth. and win a fabulous crown. I may model this crown for you guys, I want you to see it. But then part of me wants it to be like a huge surprise, so I don't want everybody to see it. But I will tell you this, a picture of the crown is on the poster. So I'll put the poster up and tag you all. What is behind my head here? Oh, that's my towel. All right, I've been riding now for 30 minutes. And I've been going for six, almost seven miles. Thank God for Facebook Live, because I don't, I don't know if I would be doing this if I couldn't talk and see myself. And that's what makes it fun for me. And the light.
30 minutes is done. And I've been going for seven miles now. Uh, uh, uh. After this, I'm gonna pack up for AT&T Park and just go hang out at the Embarcadero for a little bit until time for my shift to start with the Ducal Court during the Lady Gaga concert because if I wait until time, the traffic is gonna be crazy. So I wanna already be in the city so I'm not late due to traffic. Because when big, when big events happen here in the Bay Area, the trains get delayed sometime because, you know, so many people are using the service. Look at that glamour sweat coming down. So, part of a glamour sweat workout, even though you want to sweat, you want to keep it under control. So there we go. It's coming down, but I'm also gonna soak it up. There we go. That's better. Look at all the sweat coming off my forehead. I love it. Oh, that's better. Whew. Even though you're glamour sweating, honey, you gotta keep it cute. I love this sporty hair. Seven miles done. Uh. All right, I'm gonna take a break from the video. This is what I think is too long, but I'll come back and make a shorter version for the end of the workout. <laughs> 